If you're a photographer who is wondering why you might not be attracting your ideal clients to your business, you might not be attracting enough work to your photography business to maybe go full time in it, or you want to attract a higher paying client so that you can start to take on less jobs, maybe you're experiencing some burnout and you just need to have a better work-life balance. So you have to ask yourself a couple of things. A, do you have a website? and does that website actually look professional? And B, does your website actually speak to the kind of client that you ideally want to attract to your photography business? Now, a website is obviously just one element of your marketing strategy, but personally, I think it's an incredibly important one. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have a website, I really encourage you to change this ASAP. Or maybe if you're not happy with your website and how it's looking, you feel like that it could do with a little bit of a makeover because you might not be attracting the right kind of client to your business, then maybe it's time to give it a little update. And I know some people will disagree with me when I say that you need a website, but I think as a photographer, by having a professional looking website, it just clearly states everything it is that you offer and it's a nice way to represent your photography portfolio. This video is sponsored by Zyro, which is the easiest website building platform I have ever used. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your own photography website using Zyro. So I'm gonna to touch on some features that I would recommend using and certain elements that you'll wanna showcase on your website so that you do actually attract your ideal client to your photography business. Now, before we get stuck into it, if you are interested in signing up to Zyro, you can get 72% off plus three months for free when you sign up to a yearly plan, which makes it really, really affordable. Just use my code AmandaC21 and I'll pop that link in the description box below for you as well. So it'll take you straight there. And now let's get stuck into the step-by-step -step tutorial. So here we are in my Zyro dashboard. I've already been playing around a little bit, but we're gonna start from scratch. So we hit create new website and we're gonna use a template. There are so many designer made website templates that you can choose from. I'm gonna to go to the photography tab because we're gonna be building a photography website today. And I'm going to choose Let's go. This one really caught my eye. I just think the way it's laid out um, is very simple. You can preview the template before you move ahead with it as well to see what it looks like. Um, and you can view it on iPad or mobile form as well. So we're just gonna let that load. I love that you can see the portfolio directly on the home page. That's what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go start building with the Regis uh, template. So here we are with our template and the first thing that I wanna do is add in my images and replace all of these with my own. So we just click on image here, change image place and I'm just gonna upload all my files at the same time now make sure your files are correctly named for SEO purposes very important and your maximum file size is under 15 megabytes as well all right so now that these have been uploaded I'm gonna go and begin to add these to the page so we're going to add to page and you can either fit or fill, so if we went fit, it means that it's gonna fit within the frame of what is already there. So as you can see, this image here is a square format, but I do want it to fill this up, so I'm gonna go fill. And then we're just gonna do the same with the rest of these images here. And for your alt text, make sure that you pop that in. I'm just gonna basically use the same file name, I use my name as well. Okay, so as soon as my potential client jumps onto my website, they're gonna see all of this amazing work. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is start to build out this homepage a little bit more. So now that my work is front and center, we need to add our services and tell people exactly what it is that I offer. So we're gonna go to add section and I love that there are these like pre-made templates that you can use. Um, so we are going to use, I think, this one here. 
and you'll see that it has an amazing drag and drop feature like it is literally this easy to customize your website and you can even amend the size of the photos depending on how you want it to look you can make it bigger have them overlap like this like whatever it is that you want to do so i think i'm gonna make them all the same size here like so that's looking good now i want to change the background of this section to be more on brand with our business so we're going to go to just click into here go change background and go image and i'm going to choose this gradient one that we have here so this is like our signature gradient and that is already looking so much better and now i'm going to start with putting in a little bit more about what it is that we offer so i'm going to head to my google doc here where i've got all of my website copy and just bump that in. I think I'm gonna make that heading three and I wanna make that white. And let's make it heading four. And then we're gonna grab this blurb about what it is that we do. Make this white, I'm gonna bold that, and just gonna move it up a little bit. Okay, cool. Now it's time to change these images here to make them more on brand, show more of our work. So let's use this one. So I think after this section, it'd be really great to add in a section for testimonials. So what we can do is just go, let's go add a new section, and we're going to go from, testimonials so everything is literally already laid out for you all the kinds of features that you need I kind of like this one here and again you can amend your background color to make it fit your brand um, we can amend the image here so let's do that change image and for placeholder I'm just going to use this one here I'm just gonna say Amanda is awesome. <laughs> now the other thing we want to do is change our logo so I'm just going to click the logo area and replace the image with our own Timber Media House logo so let's move ahead and do this. So now that our logo is inserted we just want to change the size and we can do that with these sliders here and it's just looking so much better now. Now the next thing that we want to do is add in your services page. So we're going to go over to pages and navigation here and you can see this is where you can amend your menu from. So we're going to go add new page and I am going to actually do a blank page here because I prefer to customize it myself and I'm going to rename this and call it services. Save. And then I'm gonna create another page, blank page, rename, and I'm gonna call it Still Life Product Photography. And I'm going to then move to drop down under services. Now, the one thing I love about Zyro is you don't need any design or coding skills. So the first thing I wanna put here is a banner image. Now you can do this in multiple ways. You can add a new section and use one of these. Um, you can pop in a gallery as the first thing people see. Um, there are some image layouts here that you can use. I think this one is uh, kind of cool where you've got three different images. Um, or you could do a slideshow as well where you can have multiple images moving across. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in just an image element and I'm just gonna like drag it out like this. And then let's change this image and I'm gonna make it this landscape photo here. 
and I can just bring that down a little bit like so perfect so as soon as someone lands on my services page still life private photography they're gonna see this which is awesome so now we want to start talking about what the service is and what we offer I'm gonna add in a new blank section I'm gonna add an element so this is gonna be product still life photography let's bring that out let's make it heading to center that and move it up gonna add another text box and copy paste this little introduction blurb center that and just bring it down a little bit now here I might actually make this my gradient background as well just to make it a little bit more interesting cool and I want to make this white awesome so now we want to add a section about how the process actually works. You'd be surprised how many times I've been asked this from potential clients. How does your service work? So I'm going to choose this one here where I've got the three columns and I'm going to make this our process. Heading one and then I'm going to move this over here and call this pre-production. That's a bit too big. That's perfect. I think I wanna just bring that up. And then I'm gonna add another text box here. And then copy paste the process. Then we just move this down a little bit. Maybe there. Want everything to be in the same line. Let's duplicate this. This will be oh, production. So you see how easy it is to design your website. Awesome. And then I want to have a little section about pricing as well. So I like this layout because then I can have another image where people can still see my work and a little bit more info about pricing. I don't need that, but I'm going to put how our pricing works. Let's make it that heading. Again, I'm going to change this background to my gradient image. Change that to white. Let's make it bold. Grab our website copy. Bring it up. Change this one. Okay, great. That's perfect. And then down here, I think I'm going to have a call to action where it says book in now. So let's do this one. And maybe we can say ready to make some magic together. I want to change this background. Let's just go white for the moment. Make this heading header. Whoop, that's too big. Then we're going to edit this button and I think I'm going to link it to the contact tab and I'm going to say book now. Now you can also change the 
color of the button. So I'm going to do that. Let's go style. Let's go here to custom color. I'm going to choose this purple. Yes, way better. Okay, cool. So when people click that, it's going to link them directly to the contact page. Now let's see how this is looking in mobile form. So Zyro will adapt whatever you're doing to mobile view. Um, so we can see what's going on here. So we've got our banner, a little blurb. The only thing that doesn't seem to work is this. So we can just move these down. So now that we've amended on mobile view, this little section here um, to make it flow a bit more, you'll notice that it doesn't affect the website view, which I love. So you can just cross between mobile and desktop and just move things around um, depending on what view you're looking at, which I think is really intuitive. So now that we have our services page, what you can then do if you have other services is I would then duplicate this so that you don't have to start from scratch all over again. And we're gonna name this um, location lifestyle photography. And we're gonna pop it under services and then all I have to do is just replace the images, a little bit of copy, and that page is already ready to go. I don't have to start from scratch, which is awesome. Now, the other thing I would recommend having is a portfolio. Now, here you can see our home page is actually the portfolio. So I want to rename this and I want to call it home because I want a separate portfolio page with all of my work. So we're going to add a new page here and I'm going to call it, actually, I'm just gonna add a blank page and then I'm gonna add a new section. So this page here, let's just name that one, portfolio, save, and I'm gonna bring that up to, I think there's good, and bring my contact tab at the end. So we're gonna add in a new section, and we're gonna go gallery. I love these gallery layouts. I think they are going to display your photography really nicely. I love this one, so I'm gonna use that. I love how it's got the like little borders in between each photo. So let's move on and fill out this portfolio page and see how it looks. So we're gonna go up to manage gallery and firstly, I'm just gonna delete everything that's here because they're not my photos. <laughs> So let's go to add images and just for the example, we'll use what's already here. So I'm just going to add all of these, add to gallery. Okay, cool. We'll exit out of that and that should be populating. Amazing. So let's have a preview and see what this is looking like now. I think we need to delete a section there. Ah, oh, I love this. This looks so good. All my work is really nicely displayed. I think this is my favorite one where you have the white frames around each photo. Love that. Let's have a look at mobile view. Yes, that looks so good. You can just see everything at a glance. That's awesome. So I literally did that portfolio in like a minute. So as long as you have your images ready to go, you just upload add them and you can adjust the order as well if you want again just by dragging and dropping it is so easy all right the last thing that you would need is an about section i highly recommend have a good photo of yourself no selfies it should look like a professional image now what is really cool is i already have these ai tools so if you are going to get stuck on how do i write an about me section you can go to the ai writer and get some ideas which is really really cool so if we go to art and design and photography select paragraph about generate text it will actually come up with a whole range of um, paragraphs that you can pull from obviously amend as per your own experiences and situation 
um, but this might give you some ideas and you can just say copy the text and whack it in. So that's a really cool feature in case you get stuck on some website copy, but obviously make sure to amend it um, as per your own experiences. The other thing I would recommend having as a photographer is a blog. So this is going to help with your SEO over time. And Zara have a really easy way to integrate a blog into your website. So we're going to go to here, blog, and start a blog. It literally creates a whole new tab and it creates the layout straight away for you. So you can go into your first post, write a post here, write your content, and that will appear on your blog section. So if we just exit out of that, and this is how it would look. That was with the click of a button. So that was so easy to set up. You can always add more blog posts as you go along, um, but I'd highly recommend if you do have time for blogging, get on that as well. The other thing that I would highly encourage you to pay attention to is your SEO. So we go down to website settings here and SEO. And from here, you can update all your page titles and your page descriptions. So Zyro makes it really easy for you to keep up to date with your SEO. So for home, we might have a Timber Media House, which is our company name. Um, well, product photography. And then the page description is just something of what your business is about. So you'd want to use keywords such as product photography, maybe your niche like skincare, product photography and videography, um, things like that. And you can do it with all of your page titles. So make sure that you do this. And like I said, Zara, just make it really easy for you to update your SEO for each page. Now, last but not least, you would want to connect your domain. So you simply go to domain under settings. If you've got one, you would connect your own domain. Um, if you don't, you can always buy a new one. Domains are really cheap. Ours are with GoDaddy. I think we paid like $15 or something for the year. Um, and it's just going to give your website a much more professional look if you have your own custom domain. Now, Zara obviously have a whole bunch of other integrations as well. Um, you know, Facebook pixels, messenger live chat, all these things. Um, I don't feel like you'd probably need that to get started when you're a photographer. Um, maybe that's something you can look at um, down the track. Google Analytics would be a great one to integrate, however. So make sure that you have a look at those integrations as well. So let's have one last preview of the website. I love how clean, minimal and easy it is to follow. I just think the simpler, the better. Make sure that your website attracts the right kind of client that you want to work with. And having a website is so important. Once you're finished, all you've got to do is publish your website and you're ready to go. So all this was built in under an hour. It's incredibly affordable. It looks amazing. It's straight to the point. It showcases your work. It's got all the things that you need here as a photographer. And I could not recommend Zyra enough to get started. I heard that you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. It actually blows my mind how easy Zyro is to use and how quickly you can build a website with it. Now, if you are interested in signing up to Zyro, I've left all the details in the description box below and you can use my code AmandaC21 to claim the offer as well. Now, if you do end up using Zyro to build your photography website, I would absolutely love to see. So leave a comment here, email me, tag me on Instagram in your website creations. I'd absolutely love to see what you create. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.